This is a 12th century Roman toilet used by the Roman police at the time. It was stolen in the 13th century. The Roman police couldn't find their toilet. They had nothing to go on. It looks like a modern day outhouse to me. Well, the design hasn't changed much over the last 700 years. But a toilet is still a toilet. Why change a design that works? Excuse me, there's someone at the door. Yes? Telegram? Telegram? I wonder what it is. It's a piece of paper with some words written on it. I give it to you, and you give me a tip. Smart Alec, huh? Here's your tip. Ah! Dear Mr. Artifact Jack, Stop. Your services are needed. Stop. Please come to my mansion. Stop. 1127 Walnut Avenue. Signed, Sir Walter Hightower. Walter Hightower. He's that old rich typhoon who's done some tribal research in Africa. Rich, yeah. I better get right over there. This is the place. I wonder what that old geezer wants me for. Who may I say is calling? My name is Artifact Jack. Yes, I will take you to Sir Hightower. Mr. Low Tower, I presume. Hi, Tower, Mr. Jack. You sent me a message. You needed my services. I understand you find and retrieve rare ancient artifacts, even when there is danger involved. Yes, I hunt for artifacts. I want to hire you to find what is known as the Crystal Crock Pot. This is the Crystal Crock Pot. I need you to help me obtain the crystal crock pot. It is very special. If used correctly, there is a ritual that grants a much longer life to the one who uses it. Ritual, huh? How does it work? Well, Mr. Jack, I cannot tell you all the secrets, but I have a book written by a man who witnessed the cannibalistic ritual. Only the kings of a certain cannibal tribe are allowed to use the crystal crock pot. Only special herbs and spices are used, and prayers are told so that the gods of the cannibals will grant the kings a longer life. Of course, the main ingredient in the crock pot is a human. So, eating a human is part of the ritual for a longer life? Yes. But a longer life isn't what I'm after. No. I just want the crock pot. I would put it in a museum. How much are you willing to pay me? I'm not cheap. Remember, this is dangerous. We will be traveling to the land of cannibals. Cannibals? Schmannibals. How much? I want you to take the crystal crock pot from the cannibals. I will pay you the sum of one million dollars. Well, that sounds fair. There is one more thing. A catch. I knew it. No, not a catch. I will be taking my maid with me. You want to take your maid? Yes, you see. I can be messy, and I don't like to clean up after myself. <coughs> what was that? My maid. She's cleaning. 16th century China. Two million dollars. Ming Voss, $2.5 million. Oh, Dee Dee, can you come in here, please? Yes, 
Be right in, Unky Walty. <laughs> Here I am. Yes, it looks like you and I are going to take that trip to Africa I told you about. I must go and get ready. Oh, goody goody. So, you are the maid. Oh, not really. Unky Walty wanted me to dress up like a maid. Unky? I like to call him Unky. <laughs> I see. I've got to get ready for the trip. Is it cold in Africa? Not this time of year. Oh, goody goody. I know just what to bring. Since Africa is across the ocean, I figured we'd be flying on one of those new jets. I have many resources at my disposal, Mr. Jack. I have thought this adventure out thoroughly. And where we are going, a jet won't be able to land. Excuse me, sir. It looks like we're being followed. Being followed, huh? Followed? It may be my boyfriend. It's hard to say. There is a plane behind us. It could be anyone. Your boyfriend? It could be dear daddy. Everything is going as planned. Dear Brother Water knows where the crystal crockpot is. When he finds it, I will take it from him. The crockpot will be mine. <laughs> We are approaching land, sir. Looks like we're on course and on time. It won't be long now. That plane is still behind us and closing in. I think there is no doubt. It is following us. Fly through that volcano smoke. Let's see if we can lose them. I don't like that sound. What sound do you like? The engines are damaged. Maybe that volcano was throwing rocks up with the smoke. We're losing altitude. We're not going to make it. We're going to crash. We can make it. Keep an eye out for a place to land. No, we're not going to make it. We don't have a chance. There's a place to land. The plateau at the top of the cliff. No! We're not gonna make it! Pull up. We can make it. You're right. We didn't make it. Everyone okay? I am. How about you, Dee Dee? I'm okay. Hey, you know what they say. Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. There's just one problem with that. What's that? We haven't walked away from the plane yet. Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're approaching the bottom of the cliff. Oh. 